Right now, cabbage mixture, because I wanted something sweeter. It's a little cold and windy, but um, it's handling it fairly well. One pet peeve about this type of uh, pipe tamper and tool is this little sprung, this little pick which I really value, but it sticks out and sometimes scrapes on the side of my uh, pipes, especially the little tiny, the smaller the bowl. So I always uh, extend it and then and it's try not to uh, hurt myself. So gently temp. Put my hand over it protected from overheating and burning too hot from the wind. This is um, at Adnamas or something. It's a award-winning brewery and this is um, some seasonal ale. It's very good. So my glasses were in my little case and they fell out of the car. And I looked all over with a flashlight, but they um, they were, I guess, wedged between the side of the, the uh, bottom of the side of the seat and the uh, rim of the door frame and as I was getting in um, the next day after my search uh, they fell on the floor so I was like yay I knew they would turn up this bowl is almost done actually I am um, I filled it before driving over here I do have some more in the bag but and then I sat it down, and then of course the wind has uh, burned through it past, but I sat it down as I went inside to um, the supermarket and bought my mum a nice bouquet of flowers, so oh, that'd be nice for her. This is my vintage Dunhill. It is a great lighter for cigars and cigarettes, not great for pipes, but so I may sell it to someone through uh, PayPal or eBay. It's an excellent, it's an excellent vintage Dunhill. I love this lighter, but um, of course in the wind it's not great, and it's um, it's got this like wide slit, which is great for when you turn it up for cigars actually. I know it looks like I'm down some horrible side alley, but actually, um, it's a nice little beer garden. I'm sure it's nice in the good weather. And these pubs are hundreds of years old, but 
old stone floors and big Yorkshire stone on the inside of the buildings and around the fireplace. Yeah, that should have been a good 40 minute bowl that I packed and um, it was maybe like a 12 minute drive and five minutes outside and it's, it's burned almost down from the wind. I don't have my camera with me today. Don't have anything really to talk about today except um, I've been watching some of uh, the videos and um, it's cool to see everyone start putting, putting some videos out there and uh, just talking uh, about life and themselves or showing their uh, pipes and tobacco. Shout out to Ken Masters. Um, I see that you're on you and you've uh, posted some videos. I like your um, little man cave in the garage and the uh, Halloween decorations you had over there, especially the um, whatever that projection thing was for the window. I won't ask how much it costs. That was way cool. I told my parents they should just get that for the living room, like for every night, but they weren't interested in the idea for some reason. I do not have a cold, but my nose is always running in this cold weather. Apparently it's not even winter yet. Apparently also, I've forgotten what it's like to live in England. Let me see, uh, how long will it be now that I've been in the States? 22 or 23 years. Uh, 22 years, December. 22 de years, December 5th. I arrived in New York, December 5th, 1995. A young, very, very shy and insecure 23 year old. And oh my god, has it been a wild ride since then? I noticed, um, I actually like the way. My beard smells after smoking a pipe, but I have no idea if anyone else would. I think the Sultan of Silver did a video back when he had his big beard about um, tobaccos that smell good in his beard. But I do believe the whole time he was very single. Excuse me. So it may not be conducive to actually uh, being in the dating scene. I like my beard right now, but um, I do miss my uh, one and a half year, close to one and a half year beard that I have. I'll put up a picture, I actually entered a beard competition just because it was going on in um, Tucson, Arizona. I went on stage and raised my arms because I didn't know what else to do and then we started cheering. And it was at that point that I realized it must be awesome to be a rock star. Hope you guys have been liking my music selection. And I'm going to let the music play us out. I'm going to suggest this.